always be wary when the left is making an argument along the lines of, why are you making such a big deal of it? Why are you so focused on this? You're obsessed with this. It doesn't happen that often. We're not pushing this. This tells us more about you than it does about our agenda. Think any version of that. Uh, it's just gaslighting, which is very common these days. And they're doing it on a range of issues. But the place where you'll see it, I think, in the most uh, obvious, the most obvious cases would be on issues of gender, what they're now calling gender equality um, or the transgender agenda. Right. So we have up in Vermont, and, and I always say this, Vermont is for me a place that we we should have seen this coming and, and should have done something to keep well to prevent Vermont from becoming the uh, left wing haven in New England that it is. A lot of people from New York, New Jersey and Connecticut who had very leftist tendencies figured, well, you know, I can get more land and cheaper cheaper cost of living, et cetera, I'll move to Vermont. So, you know, Bernie Sanders, for example, a Brooklynite New Yorker who moved to and now is the senator from Vermont. It's a beautiful state. I, I love it. I used to spend summers there. Uh, I used to go to camp in Vermont. So I think Vermont's lovely. Uh, well, in the summers, at least. I've never been in the winter. I'm not a skier, so it's not as appealing to me. But Vermont has a situation unfolding. The Mid-Vermont Christian School. Um, a few weeks ago, its high school basketball team forfeited a playoff game. You all know where this is going. The Christian school, Mid-Vermont Christian School, forfeited the playoff game because the opposing team had a transgender player, as in a teenage, uh, you know, an adolescent male who wants to play against women's basketball players or, you know, teenage girl basketball players. I'm not sure if they're, they're you know, they could be 18, they could be 16. I think it's, uh, if they're varsity, they're probably older. Anyway, so we'll say roughly 16 to 18 years of age is what we're talking about here. And and uh, by the way, any of you who have, who, well, I was going to say who have kids, but just anybody who has, has eyes knows that by the time boys get to 13, 14 years old and, and puberty uh, hits, their strength, speed, musculature, everything is very different from girls, right? So it's, you know, at, at uh, earlier ages, the differences are still pronounced, but are not, you know, super pronounced. And then they get into their teenage years, and all of a sudden, um, it's quite different. I mean, as any guy who played high school sports knows, if you then went to college and, you know, scrimmaged on like a co-ed team and you came up against you know, all American women in your sport, you realize men have a huge advantage over women, right? Even now, I just mean in a recreational setting. Um, so here's where we are. The Mid-Vermont Christian School said they would not participate in this game. And now they have to be punished. You see, this is heresy in the Democrat stronghold of Vermont. You're not allowed um, and this is they're saying this is a violation of gender discrimination. So the school, this Christian school, has had its affiliation in the athletic league that it is in canceled. They say that the uh, mid Vermont Christian school violated the organization's policies against gender discrimination. And they say they're no longer able to be members in this league. Uh, so this just goes to show you how committed the left is to this. It's not enough. Remember, they just forfeited. So they're not even taking action beyond saying, look, we're just not going to play against a trans. We're not going to play against a team that has a transgender student. Look, I I'm a 41 year old man. If I decided that I was actually an eighth grader and that I wanted to play eighth grade basketball, I would hope I would hope that all of the parents on that eighth grade basketball team that I was going to play against would say, this is not fair, this is crazy, and we're not going to allow it. We're not going to allow it. I mean, I remember I used to make the argument many years ago 
that, and I'm talking about 2000, when I first started in radio, so 12, gosh, 12 years ago now, maybe uh, 10, 11 years ago, I said, what about transgender? Because this was when the beginnings of the transgender athlete thing was becoming really, really uh, a, a debate. I said, what about uh, combative sports? What about MMA? And sure enough, within a short period after having these d- discussions, on my, and by the way, the left then, their gaslighting then was, that'll never happen. Nobody will want to do that. There's no transgender man who wants to fight against women in the MMA. Actually, there are. And in one case, uh, the individual just just watching the fight between the, the biological man and the women in the, in the cage. I mean, it's horrific. It's wrong. It's unethical. It's gross. And yet the left, they, they won't budge on this stuff. Their argument is crazy, so they're going to keep making crazy arguments. In fact, they don't even really have an argument. What is the argument here? That there's gender... Discri- you have gender-segregated sports, but it's gender discrimination to insist that the gender-segregated sports are actually segregated by gender. That is what is happening in Vermont right now. The, the Vermont you know, Athletic Association involved. The state of Vermont. The Democrat apparatus there. They're all in favor of punishing this team. This, of course, is a Christian school, too, which is great. That gets extra, extra points for slapping down a Christian school. You know, that gets the left really excited. Godless commies. So you look at this and you say, what exactly are the rules? I mean, I'm, I'm just wondering. And the, the state of Vermont right now, um, and the, you know, looking at that the Vermont, I'm trying to find the name of this, uh, this entity that is uh, banning them, whatever. But uh, the VPA, Vermont Public Athletic Association, I guess. I don't know, something like that. No, the Vermont Principals Association, the Vermont Principals Association, um, their official policy is that if you live in the state of Vermont and uh, and an 18 year old boy wants to play um, basketball against your 18 year old daughter, if she has a problem with that, she better shut up. And if she gets an elbow to the face from this, you know, from this guy and is, you know, swinging his elbows around, he's got, you know, the. The, the probably a little bit of a beard growing. That's her problem. You, you notice they always try to make this about kindness, but actually what they're doing is trying to rely on the desire that people who, who are traditional in their view of gender to be kind so that the people on the left can do vicious things. This is wrong. This is absurd. It's also a slap in the face to women's athletics. What, what is the point of this? Right. What is the what is the rationale behind it? Exactly. As you know, it's the eradication of gender. And even more than that, it is to force you to bend the knee to insanity. If they can make you affirm obvious lies, they can make you believe and affirm anything. They own you psychologically if they can make you say, hey, there's no problem here. So it's an 18 year old guy that decided he was a woman. I don't know. A few months ago. And he wants to play against women's basketball. This is great. This is progress. 